Okay, I got another video here. Uh, just we're gonna pick up where we left off on the last one, um, and we're we're going into uh, molarity, kind of coming from uh, the um, you know solutions, solutes, and stuff like that. So um, right here, I've got it looks like 25 grams of potassium bromide, um, and I I made a I made a solution an 820 milliliter solution out of this stuff. Okay, I just um, I just dumped this stuff in some water. Um, heck, I don't know if it's water soluble or not. Or not. I, I'm thinking yes because of the uh, potassium. But uh, let's just let's just say it's in some random uh, solvent, and uh, we ended up with 820 milliliters. So my question to you is, what's Molarity. So what's the molarity? Big M, which equals how many moles are in one liter? You know, that, that's not, uh, not too hard when you look at it that way. You know, uh, I, I got confused a little bit at first, but as soon as I looked at it, like, from this angle that I'm showing you guys, I was, I was awesome. So um, let's see here. So what are, what are we going to do? What do we want to do? I want to... First, get this cord out of the way. There it goes. Okay, so I've got grams. Well, I just want to go from grams to moles and milliliters to liters and just divide. Okay, so let's go 25 grams of potassium bromide. So what I'm going to have to do first, looks like I have to find the molar mass of potassium, or no, no, I'm sorry, uh, sodium. I'm going to use four significant figures. And that's 39. And bromine is... Okay, so I got those. I'm just going to add those up real quick. Okay? So I got 39.10 plus 39.90. Okay, and that's 119. But... Remember, in your significant figures, we're adding, so our final answer need to ha needs to have two significant figures on it. Okay, so I'm gonna take my um, I'm gonna take my 25 grams of potassium bromide. I'm gonna multiply one mole times 119.00 grams KBr. Okay, and what do I get? Uh, looks like yeah, I'm gonna have to use three significant figures. That's my smallest one. So I'm gonna have moles of KBr. Okay, and just like before, um, the actual formula wants to go per liter. Um, you know, we're eight tenths of a liter would be 0 0.8 liters, uh, but this is just 0 0.820. Now it's just a division problem. Looks like well, we got three significant figures here. Okay, so we got 2.256M, which just means there's 0 0.256 moles in one liter. All right, so uh, do we need to do one more? Let, actually, yes, let's do one more and let's throw a little twist on it. Okay, let's throw, let's make it different. Let's say, let's say I give you the molarity of something and let's do sodium chloride because it's easy and I've pretty much got everything about it memorized. Um, and let's let's go 350 milliliters. Okay, how many moles? Okay, how much? So th this time. I, 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 let's just say here, here's a situation that we, you'd run into. Let's say you know uh, your lab uh, assistant says, "Hey, 
or, or your boss or whatever says, hey, I need a two, I need a, a 0.25 molar uh, solution of sodium chloride. Um, can, 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 you, can you, and I, I need 350 milliliters of it. So can, can you mix me up a batch of 0.25 molar NaCl, um, whip me up uh, 350 milliliters of that real quick. I need something. And you'll be able to say, okay, no problem. Um, but what's our, we have an, a different unknown now, okay? Um, and the same thing, 350 milliliters, we can just convert that to 0 0.350 liters. And at the end of the day, we want to arrive at this specific concentration of sodium chloride. So what am I going to do? I, this is just a regular algebra problem, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to go and I'm going to multiply both sides of this thing by 0 0.350. Okay, so now these cancel out. Now I've got X being equal to 0 0.250. Notice how I'm still writing my units. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't write it here because I ran out of room, but see how I still uh, did my units? Um, now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, instead of using this big M, I'm going to go back to what the actual meaning of it is, and that's moles per liter. And I've got 0 0.350 liters. Okay. Well, works out pretty good, doesn't it? Because the liters will cancel, just like always. They always cancel. Okay. And it looks like um, I'm going to use three significant figures, and that's going to be 0 0.88 moles of NaCl. Okay? Now, I mean, you're probably not going to want to go fetch 0.88 moles, so you'll probably have to take it a step further. You'll probably have to go and actually find out... Um, how many grams that is, because you'll probably have to go mass it out on a balance. Okay, so how many grams are in one mole? It looks like I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna go 23 on the sodium and 35.45 on the chlorine. And that gives me 58.45 grams right there. So let's uh, multiply that by 0 0.088. And it looks like, what is that? Three significant figures. All right, so it looks like I'll just uh, charge over to the uh, balance and I'll mass out about five grams, it looks like, of sodium chloride uh, to make this little batch. Uh, so you see what we did right there? Uh, no biggie. It's just that, you know, last time I gave you the amount of grams and you were just finding the concentration of it. This time, in this, in this project, you know, I, from the get-go, I realized... Uh, what type of concentration I was looking for, so I had to basically find out, you know, uh, what what amount of solute uh, it would take to make that sort of thing. So, um, let me know, as always, if you need any more videos on that, um, and I'll I'll be glad to do it. Okay, it would a it would actually make my day, um, you know. So don't don't hesitate. So I'll see you in the next one.